The batteries are going to be moved temporarily into the engine room where the water heater used to be. And then I'll get in and cut out all this fiberglass and, and plywood and build a new box in here for the new batteries. So we'll see what happens. So you can see the first thing we're doing is we have to disconnect all the batteries and move them from this area into the engine room, which means we're not going to have any interior lighting that's 12 volt. So we're going to have headlamps and um, this little battery powered light. This whole thing is just weird. How many I've ever seen that? Yeah. These are what used, I think the tiller, the emergency tiller used to come across. It's just all. Oh, yeah, that's junk. Well. It can be fixed. Well, the panel feed is coming directly off the batteries right now. It's not going through these switches. Oh. So the old should... panel, but the new panel is not. But we only have like one circuit hooked up to that. We still have stuff on the old panel. Yeah. Yeah. Most everything on the old panel. DC. Correct. The AC is all on the new panel. Yeah. So these are like AC Delco... Delco Voyager, 20, Group 27s, um, I don't know how many amps, 95 amp hours, that's what it is. It's got these little built-in hydrometers that tell you the state of charge, and it looks like only two out of the three batteries are reading green, according to the little floaty ball in the clear window of the uh, thing. This battery back here is not... Where's the floaty ball? See the little floaty ball right there? Oh, okay. It's a and green, green, and this one is green right there. But that one's not back there. Huh. That one's black. It's black which means green. Charge. It means it's 50 to 70 percent. And I have two nuts and bolts. Two nuts and two sets of lock washers. In the way all the time. I don't know where they came from. This is one of the reasons I want to get rid of these, change these cables out. Why? The crimp job is shit. These are horrible crimps. Plus the wire. The wire is really stiff. It has really heavy conductors compared to boat cable. The cable of the same diameter is a lot more flexible. This is pretty close to the same. This is two gauge. And the actual big wire I got uh, down in the shed is two aught. Everything from the battery to the switches is going to be ran with two aught. And then the panel feed, which is this, to go up from the battery to here, or from the battery switching actually up to here, is the uh, is uh, number two. Yeah, you can also see where the uh, cable is oxidizing uh, in the insulation, right near where it's crimped. So it's not it's untinned uh, copper wire. It's not boat cable. It's like car battery cable or something, and uh, it's very stiff and also. Um, very large. The conductors are a lot larger than the uh, than the real fine wire. This is new. Uh, oh, this, this is the there. new wire that goes to the panel, all right, so and it's extra long. You should Yeah, it's uh, it's all extra long. cable is so stiff it's almost impossible to route now look at this can you see I don't know if you can see how close see how big that strands those strands of wire are yeah that's some heavy cable you can actually see the end shot of it also that cable's got no business being on it brilliant foresight to run everything in PVC tube and uh, you think it was Tayana or you think it was no nah, this is done from the shipyard mm. this is Tay Yang uh, I can't tell what the, there's some like weird writing on here um, but then even smarter they were 
to take all their runs before they put them in conduit and tape them all together. So inside the conduit you can't pull any wire or change any wires or pull back two wires and leave two in the conduit. You gotta pull the whole bundle back and basically cut everything loose. So what I want to do is eliminate all this conduit down along here because it's, it's unnecessary and it's, I like to be able to see all the wires. So here's where the new batteries are sitting for temporary. And where the old I, water heater was. This is where the water heater was. This is where the batteries are going to sit until I get the new battery box built. I've got to back pull all this cable that goes to the two battery switches, figure out which goes to where, and then figure out how I'm going to set it up so that it, uh, it's actually better. Oh, and then I found these two wires here. These are the these run to uh, the hot and their terminal strip. This was for the deep uh, the shallow bilge pump forward. You know our uh, bigger high water bilge. So those came straight off. That's what that fuse is. So I've got the batteries all out of here and uh, kind of routed the panel cable up temporarily. Their batteries are back here in the engine room. And now I gotta pull apart the switches and figure out how they wired everything to the back because it's kind of it's kind of funky. Both battery switches have to be in the off position. But when if you turn this one to on, it would draw from one battery or to second battery or both one and two battery. This one turned it is labeled three, but it turns everything off and on. So I don't know how they it's weird how they have it wired in the back, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. It was going forward when it should have been going backward. So now I got some kind of funky wire. I don't know why that has a uh, I don't know what this wire's for. Which one? This little wire. Oh. So one of these wires, the one that came to this single switch, this is either on or off. It's not a selector. It's either, it's all or nothing. And one of the wires came from battery number three up to here. And then this wire jumps over to one of the terminals on this uh, switch right here. Um, so I don't, I'm not quite sure. I think this wire, I gotta trace it out, but I think it goes up in here to this. I think it goes to this DC ammeter. Two of these wires have melted themselves together. <laughs> right here. And they go to this stupid thing, this professional mariner. This is the wire that came off the battery switch right here. This was on this switch post and acutely coiled around. Look at this. I think switch. this one goes to the other battery switch over here and monitors these other two batteries. That's the battery monitor is what that it's, thing is? Yeah, it's freaking an antique, man. This thing has obviously gotten melty in here. Look at this shit. There's a piece of wood jammed in there. Well, that's probably why it melted. Good God. A little bit of heat. Look at this. You have your fuel. How did wood get jammed in there? I don't know. Somebody use a wire nut on top of solder. This is just ghetto. There's a ch chunk of wood. Somebody intentionally electrical taped it to the... Uh, inside that selector switch. All the insulation is ballooned on this wire. What's ballooned? Well, it's just melted and gotten bubbly. Mm. I mean, look at it. Okay. I'm going to find out where each of these wires goes and comes from. Yeah, grief. So, I installed everything as one, I wired everything together as one big bank, traced all the wires coming from the switches and it was still messed up however they had it wired, I can, still can't figure out what exactly their intentions were when they put 
these batteries together. But it's kind of, it was kind of hokey. But anyway, this is just temporary to keep our boat going until we get the new batteries installed. And I guess you're supposed to take loads from opposite ends of the battery, like the positive here and the negative over here, and then vice versa with charging. So when you're charging the batteries, you're drawing off different ends of, of the bank. Is that how you did it? Yeah. So we got the uh, batteries moved back in here in the engine room where the water heater used to be. And everything's wired up. Everything, I put all three batteries in one bank. Next step is to cut out all the plywood in the old battery box and redesign it for the new Firefly AGMs is what I think we're going to go with. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And, you know, give us a thumbs up and click like if you like it. And, you know, all that good YouTube stuff. And that's about that.